Hi guys, it's Miss Stewart, and I'm back with another awesome book just for you, okay? Today we're going to be reading about a little girl who made some big changes in a school system. Well, in the nation, okay? Today we're going to be reading Ruby Bridges Goes to School, My True Story by Ruby Bridges. Okay, guys, you sit back and enjoy this awesome book. Bridges Goes to School, My True Story. A long time ago, some people thought that black people and white people should not be friends. In some places, black people were not allowed to live in the same neighborhoods as white people. In some places, black people were not allowed to eat in the same restaurants as white people. And in some places, black children and white children could not go to the same schools. This was called segregation. The United States government said segregation is wrong. People should live where they want. People should eat where they want. Children should go to school where they want. My name is Ruby Bridges. In 1960, I went to kindergarten in a school for black children. I like my school. I like my teacher. I liked my friends. But there was a school for white children even closer to my house than the school for black children. It was the William France Elementary School. The government said Ruby Bridges should be allowed to go to the William France School. In 1961, I was in first grade. My mother took me to the France School. Marshals came with us to make sure we were safe. Some people did not want a black child to go to the white school. They stood near the school. They yelled at me to go away. Parents took their children out of the school. I was alone with my teacher, Mrs. Henry. I loved Mrs. Henry and Mrs. Henry loved me. I was a very good student. I learned math, I learned how to read, but I wish the children would come back. Months and months passed. Then one day, children began to come back to school. At last! I had friends to play with. I was very, very happy. Many people have read about me in newspapers and books. A famous writer, John Steen Steenbeck, wrote about me. He wrote that I was very brave. A first lady, Eleanor Roosevelt, wrote a letter to me. The letter told me that I was a good American. Norman Rockwell was an artist who painted a picture of me. The painting has become very famous. Now, 
I am grown up. Now I am grown up. I am married. I have children. One day, Mrs. Henry and I were both asked to be on a TV show. That was the first time we've seen each other in many years. Now we talk to each other often. Now, black children and white children can go to the same schools. I like to visit schools. I like to tell my story to children. I tell children that black people and white people can be friends. And most important, I tell children to be kind to each other. Wasn't that just an amazing story about a little girl who made such a big difference in the world around her? And that gives me the idea, gives me the great idea that you can do something great. Even though you are a child, even though you are young, you can do something very great. Let me know what you can do. Let me know. Let me see. Be all that you can be just like Ruby Bridges. All right, guys, until next time, I'll see you later.